Her cat flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he called my phone, we chopping it up or whatever. And that's when he was like, he trying to see me. And I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me. Before she gets into any more details, the reason why I know she is lying, because most times women show their receipts. They said that they were text back and forth when he DM'd. They will show screenshots of the actual conversation. She's just talking. She's just literally just saying stuff. She's a great storyteller because obviously she fooled so many people. But before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say. So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, already? What you trying to say? Like, if you want if you want a baby mama me just say that <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach asking me do i want kids i was like yeah i want one i want a little boy so we watch a movie we drinking casamigos then y'all know casamigos bring out the freak up <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did i don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory but he did not use protection, which was a little weird. Now, if he didn't use protection, he probably got a um, vasectomy. You'll need protection for that. I mean, well, you do need protection, but not. But if you want to have a baby, you ain't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like, just because I recorded you, really? You know, I feel like that's cap. Drake is an extremely smart guy. He knows that people will try to get his money for any way they can. A slap, he knows that's a lawsuit. He's not about to slap nobody. He's not about to put himself in that position. But I have posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram, so I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that, because what do I have to lie for? See, this is the type of weird stuff. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just weird. If she had evidence to show, then that's one thing, but she doesn't even have any. If we hardly even believe Megan Thee Stallion for getting shot in the foot by Tory Lanez, and now it's evidence coming out that, you know, the audio recordings and, and, you know, different things like that where, okay, dang, maybe he did really shoot her in the foot. If we didn't believe her for two years, you think we're going to believe you? 